Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey and all teams. We're back for another fun video of ranking logos. This time it's in the queue. Now this is a league that's actually pretty close to us. We've mm -hmm. seen many games probably throughout this league in our, our lifetime. I mean, you, you're from Quebec. So, I mean, you're. I'm gonna get you to read some of these names because my French is not good. And I know your French is probably isn't very good either, but you've got more experience than me. So you're in charge of the names. So there's 18 logos, I've ranked them uh, 18 to 1 from least favorite to favorite. So let's get this going. Number 18. The Val d'Or Foyers. Better than I could have done. This is an, an absolutely hideous logo in my opinion. I hate it. I hate everything about it. Green and yellow do not go together. Uh, it doesn't even make sense. It does nothing for me. Sorry. Yeah, the default font at the bottom. If this is really on the logo, uh, that is quite sad because that where it says Valdor, that's uh, like a, yeah, it's like the default font of any program you open. Yeah, it's no good. You know, they never even <laughs> they didn't, tried even, they didn't to, even try. Yeah, no. change it up. But yeah, this logo is completely awful. This looks more like something you'd see on the side of a truck for a forestry or a mining company. Yeah, of some sort. It does look like a pickaxe. Yeah, the, it does. Maybe definitely. that's what it means. I don't know French. Ma maybe right? my French skills, unfortunately, are not very good. Even though I'm from Quebec. Even if it did mean that, it's still a, um, an ugly logo. Sorry. Yeah, this is awful. Yeah. Sorry, Valdor. Maybe we should have started with the best logos first, so this wouldn't be such a depressing video from the start. But yeah, but it's gonna get better. It now. is gonna get better. It's, it's going to get yeah. better. <laughs> Number seventeen. Blaineville Armada. Yeah, it's just blue. It's black and white. It's just an A, basically. It doesn't do anything yeah. for me. Sorry. Yeah, again, this doesn't look like a hockey logo. It looks like from another professional sports league. But yeah. Black and white? Ooh. Not necessarily bad, but not necessarily good. There are some franchises that could pull this off, but for this particular yeah. logo, man, it just doesn't work. No. Number 16. The Quebec Ramparts. Yep. I'm familiar with this uh, team because I think Patrick Wa's son used to play for this team. Mm. That's when he got in a big fight and he got kicked out. Oh, or right, right. Yeah. yeah, I remember reading Like five years ago yeah. or something. It's just, I don't know, it's just, it's just kind of boring. Is it a castle bird hybrid? I think the R is for right. the, the team name, but, but I don't, I, whatever that even means, I don't, I don't know. It does look like a bird. I see what you're saying. Right. It does look like a bird with spiked hair. He's, he's looking cool, you know? Yeah. Uh, no, it's definitely a castle, though, I think. Yeah. I'm Yeah, I'm, I'm just not a fan of this one at all. Yeah, no. Rank number 15. Shakutami. Saginaw? Not, yeah. Let's go with that. I mean, Saginaw. <laughs> Saginaw. <laughs> Les Saginaw de Shakutami. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. It's just a ring. I don't know. It's just... I, I do like the colors, actually. Yeah, it's almost Blue's as if they were color. bragging they already won. This is our cup <laughs> ring. Yeah. But no, um, there's not really a lot going on here. It's no, not, it's, I don't know. It doesn't... It's not hockey. I don't know. The blue and blue... Mm. I like the blue. Blue's my favorite color, so yeah. I'm a little biased there. But. Yeah. Number 14, the Cape Breton Screaming Eagles. <laughs> I like how you took this one, because it's 100% <laughs> totally. English. Yeah. Like, okay, I'm going to say yeah, this, this is one. Mine. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I like the name. Yeah. Screaming Eagles. I've always liked that. Uh, and I do like the design of the eagle as well. Yep. So this one is sitting very high with me. Ooh, um, best so far, obviously. Yeah, yeah, definitely the best so far. Yeah. yeah. It's a mean eagle. Yeah, I like this logo, even though I have it ranked 14th. I do like it. Mm. Number 13. Victoriaville Tigers. Yeah. I well, mean, the tiger looks a little dopey. He's got an eye that's kind of bigger than the other one. <laughs> <laughs> he looks a little... He looks a little strange, but I understand yeah. what they're going for. The broken hockey stick is cool. Uh, I do like the colors a little bit, even though it's yellow and black. You get that little bit of an orange in the hockey stick. Yeah. You get a little bit of red in there. I don't hate it. I like it. It, it looks like he had a stroke. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> they one done one eye is very droopy, and as soon as I see this, I don't know why, but I instantly think of the BC Lions. The VC line, yeah, I can see that. You know, bit, instantly yeah. when I see this. Uh, I think a lot more work could have went into the actual Tiger itself. Uh, I understand the V behind because of Victoriaville. I yep. mean, I'm glad they have a hockey stick in there. I just think they could have focused more detail on the actual Tiger. Yeah, so, just fix the eye would help oh tremendously. goodness. Yeah, that <laughs> looks hideous. <laughs> Number 12, Halifax Mooseheads. Yeah, um, very it's familiar with this. Very iconic franchise. logo. Yeah, it is, um, uh, definitely. Um, 
you know, I, personally, I wish they would just focus on the actual moose itself. I agree. And not worry about the H because I find the color play between the moose and the H is just atrocious mm -hmm. and they don't really blend together at all. It's almost as if, okay, they built the H and then they did a cutout of this moose head and they yep. just threw it on there and absolutely nothing blends together. Absolutely nothing ties together. Yeah. And you know, the separation is just so huge. It's beyond noticeable. Yeah. I think this is a missed opportunity. I mm. think they could design a much better logo and I hope yep. they do in the near future, but who knows? Number 11, Drummondville Voltageur? Vol Volta <laughs> sure. Voltageur. We're going with that. That's it. Yeah, I got it. I nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah, I know it instantly. Someone in the comments is going to say, oh, yeah. you know what? You totally bombed that. You pronounced <laughs> it wrong. I'm sorry. My French skills are awful. Yeah. I tried. <laughs> uh, I do like the character. Yeah, he's, uh, he's cool. He's very I unique. I like it. Um, actually, you know, after looking at this for a little bit, I'm going to say this is my current favorite out of what we've seen so far. Uh, the detail is great mm. and it's unique. It is very unique. Yeah. It's very unique. It's cool. I like so it. I do like this. And the color play is great. Yeah, color is great. Number 10. The Acadie Bathurst Titan. Yeah. I think it's Titan. Like Titan. Yeah. Titan. Titan. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to be a uh, full fledged French, it's yeah. Titan. I only know that because they're, they were like, Eh, like an hour and yeah. a half from where I grew up. So, yeah. well, here's an interesting fact. I used to live in Bathurst. Oh, yes, you did. We've we've taken actually many, or actually just two road trips to mm -hmm. Bathurst to get uh, hockey cards. Yep. Back in two thousand in the day five. Yeah, four? it would have been something like two thousand four, two thousand five. Yeah. yeah, we're old. See again. I mean, this isn't unique. I mean, when you have the helmet mm -hmm. like this, I mean, you can think of the Ottawa Senators. You can yeah. now think of Las Vegas. Um, so it's not overly unique, but at the same time, I do like the colors here. Yeah. I really like the colors. Yeah. Too. I really do like the colors. Um, you know, this is a logo I'm very familiar with because this is a franchise I hear about all the time living where we live and, yeah. and with myself, you know, living in Bathurst for a while as well. Uh, you know, everybody in Bathurst is very, uh, part of this franchise as well. You know, their games always have great attendance and so on, so it's nice to see. But no, I don't have a lot of bad things to say about this one. Yeah, no. The Gatineau Olympic. Yeah, it's yeah, it's very unique. <laughs> and I don't necessarily, I don't love it, but it's yeah. so unique that I had to kind of rank it a little higher. Mm -hmm. uh, I do like the colors. The, it's almost like a cool gray, like a, a bluish gray. Um, I don't know, it's just unique, so I, I just had to give it some some extra points. I wonder with the name if they actually have to pay like royalty fees to the Olympic Committee because That's I mean interesting. they're yeah, totally I ripping this off. Oh, I mean yeah. like obviously they're not using the full logo of the rings. They've lowered it down to three yeah. so you could say it's different but come on. I mean those are the Olympic rings. That's the Olympic torch. Yep. They're called the Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know I'm curious how that works but yeah this is well done and it's very unique. Yeah very unique. Number eight. She went again. There's no way that's pronounced cataracts. I think it is. Come on. I think it is. How are you going to play hockey if you have cataracts? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, Ca cataracts? This is not an unfamiliar logo. Uh, I mean, the Chicago Blackhawks, and there's others in some minor leagues that have. Um, a, um, a, what's the correct term? A native? Uh, right. Yeah. A, uh, like I don't, I don't want to be offensive. I don't want to use the wrong word here. But right, maybe that is the French word, cataract. Maybe. Right now, I wish there was a French English dictionary on this <laughs> desk. Um, but he looks awesome. He does. He looks like he. The detail, the detail is, is amazing. Is really, really good. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not really a fan of the lightning bolt type design around the I name. Can, I can agree with that. Um, I think that's a little silly, and it doesn't really tie in with the actual character design yeah uh, that's just me but the detail is phenomenal on his this. headdress is is really cool mm -hmm. the feathers are awesome i like the colors yeah the colors are great I like it there's no way it's cataract i think it is no way the bay como Drakar. Drakar. yeah that's right i've seen this team play a couple times yeah this is unique very and that's why it's ranked so high it's a, mm -hmm. it's a freaking boat it's a, it's a boat. boat and it's a dragon and boat. it's filled with vikings yeah. by the looks of it and they're rowing the boat with hockey sticks this is amazing yep i like it i love I it i don't have a lot of bad things to say about and this no words 
Yeah. No words. Of course. No words. Um, <laughs> yeah. If I had to critique one thing, was it necessarily necessary to have you know the piece of broken ice? Underneath? I was thinking the exact same thing. Yeah. Eh, I don't know, but it is a nice touch, I guess. Yeah. Number six, the St. John Sea Dogs, another uh, franchise we're mm -hmm. familiar with. It's only an hour away from us, so yep. we've seen this logo uh, lots. <clears throat> it's just, uh, I mean, there could be a little more detail. Obviously, it's a little, I don't know, it's a little flat, mm -hmm. but he does look angry and uh, obviously a little bias in here because it is a team I've watched a lot and close to us, so right. I had to rank it fairly high. Right, right. Um, yeah, I mean, I agree there could have been some more detail on the actual character itself. Mm -hmm. um, very flat. Very, very flat. Uh, Color-wise, I do like. Yeah, I like the colors. Uh, I just wish there was a little more detail. I agree. That's just me. Number five, the Moncton Wildcats. Another yeah. another uh, team that's very close to us. Very close, yeah. We've, I've seen them play in, in Moncton and in other rinks as well. Mm -hmm. The logo is old, for sure. But it's not terrible. No, it's not. It could be better, mm -hmm. but I still like it. Yeah, I do as well. Great detail. Um, I don't really have a lot of complaints about this one. Yeah, he's, but, he's ripping yeah, through. There's almost kind of overkill, though, with sports franchises using cats. Yeah. And wild cats. Like yeah, I don't know what it is about cats. Lions. Uh, I'm not sure why, but it seems like they've always kind of been one of the biggest things when it comes to professional sports. Yeah. The Royan Noranda Huskies. Boom. Yeah. It's a little bit like the Phoenix Coyotes logo. Even, slightly. Yeah, very much so. Different colors, obviously. Mm -hmm. Again, black and white. Not a huge fan of black and white, but I, it's a very uh, modern logo. Mm -hmm. You can tell that this was designed recently. Right. Um, there's detail. It is flat, but there's, there's mm -hmm. lots of detail. I just like it. I think it was designed well. You can clearly see that it's a Husky. Yeah. Which, you know, is big points for me. I absolutely love this thing. Is this your new favorite? This is my new favorite. Boom. Love it. All right, moving on to number three. Sherbrooke Phoenix. Uh, there's, I love this logo. I like the colors. It's just, it's simple. You're not liking this, are you? Well, as soon as I saw it, I thought Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Legend of Zelda. <laughs> I the Hyrule like Shield. It, uh... That's the first thing that popped in my mind. Yeah. Yeah, I can, I can see that a little bit, yeah. but uh, I mean, I like it. I don't hate it. Um, I, I don't know. I, I can't get Zelda out of my mind now. Yeah, I, no, as soon as I look at this thing, that's exactly what I uh, think of. But that's just me. That's okay. But it is unique, though. It is unique. I yeah. give them that. Number two, the Charlottetown Islanders. Now, here's some huge biasism coming, because I lived in PEI for five uh, oh. years. Uh, I used to be a photographer for the previous team, the... Uh, Rocket. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what they're called. The Charlottetown? No, the Prince Edward Island Rocket is what they were called. Sorry. Yeah, so I'm very familiar with this team. Spent a lot of time there. Watched a lot of games. Total biasism here. Number two. Charlottetown Islanders. Number two. This is number two, yep. Wow. And I assume you're going to hate this because of the text and stuff. but. Well, yeah, obviously. But, I mean, I've kind of beat that dead horse <laughs> to death again just by going on and on about how much I hate text on logos. But, yeah, it's no secret I hate text on logos. Um, you know, again, the bridge. Like, ooh, what an <laughs> opponent. They have a picture of a bridge. <laughs> you know, I mean, but why it's couldn't they? an accomplishment. Yeah, it is. It's a huge accomplishment that costs you what forty six dollars to cross it. Mm, forty six fifty. Forty six fifty. So every time I look at that, I think, man, forty six fifty. Mm -hmm. I just wish they had have actually incorporated the island or or something else iconic. I mean, yeah. a bridge. Oh, that's so boring. Charlottetown's not even really close to the bridge. The bridge is in Bourne, no, like yeah, forty five minutes away. So. Yeah. All right, number one. Ramuski Oceanic. This is your number one? This is my number one. This is incredible. Look at that ship coming through the waves with the teeth. That's amazing. You don't like this? I thought it was a shark. That's a ship. Look, you can see the... Really? I think that's a ship. Well, I'm familiar that's... with this franchise because this is the franchise that Sidney Crosby played for. Yeah. So I do have a lot of hockey cards from when Crosby played for Oceanic. Um, I actually have a few 8x10s as well that I have framed in my collection and so on. Um, I mean, I, I don't hate it, but I don't like it. It's almost as if um, San Jose's logo merged with St. Louis. 
I don't see that at all. Really? No. Uh, I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of this one at all. I really hope that is actually a ship and not a shark, because then I'll look like an yeah. idiot. But The Huskies logo is still my favorite. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, it's a good logo. Uh, I, I just like the colors. I think it's a badass. I like boats. I like boats. <laughs> and even if it's a shark, I like sharks too. So <laughs> this would still be my number one, even if it was a shark. Hmm. So there you have it. Even though we, we, we see we don't agree on everything. We always yeah. we disagree on lots. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed the list. Uh, definitely let me know down below what your favorite uh, Q logo is. We, we absolutely want to know your favorites. And if you like this video, hit the like button. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button. And we're going to be doing all leagues. So look out for those in the future. All right, we'll see you. Adios. Oh, that's supposed to be an F. <laughs> that's why it's ranked 18th, because it sucks. <laughs> this is awful. I know. It's so bad. It yeah, I like, I like the, the font choice. <laughs> yeah. Times New Roman. Like, like, that's the default font on any program you open. <laughs> All right, we'll see you. All right, we'll see you.